For the past few years, my family and I wanted to have a vegetable and fruit garden. Every spring, we would plant a few tomato plants, cucumber plants, kale, and a fruit tree. We planted them into large pots and the fruit trees into the ground. Sadly, we never really got great results. We would only harvest one to two, maybe three tomatoes a year, one to two cucumbers, some kale leaves, and the fruit trees after even six years have not yet yielded any edible fruit. Last year, my mom did create a wonderful and thriving herb garden. That garden lasted for many months and some of the herbs grew back this year after the frost. This year, during quarantine, I decided to research further the topic of gardening and decided to create a DIY raised bed to plant a variety of vegetables in. All I needed to create my raised bed were a few planks of wood, some planter wall blocks, some organic raised bed soil, and some compost, which I have at my house. After finishing the raised bed, I filled it with a variety of seedlings I got from Whole Foods and my local co-op. I planted some spinach, lettuce, Swiss chard, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, tomatoes, cucumbers, and zucchini. I also decided I wanted to try the viral videos where you see people plant vegetables from their kitchen in their garden and see a new plant grow. I planted some slices of Roma tomato, heirloom tomato, sherry tomatoes, as well as the seeds of red and orange peppers. At first, it didn't seem to grow, but after a while, I saw some sprouting and slowly but surely, some of them became seedlings. Once I finished planting all of the vegetables, I also weeded all of the area where the fruit trees are planted. And after six years, I finally decided it was time to prune the fruit trees in order for them to strengthen and hopefully give us some fruit. Now the garden is flourishing and we have been able already to harvest some of the vegetables and use them in our cooking. And soon I will be sharing with you a full garden tour and update. So if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed in order to join the Living Life Simply community and never miss another video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you have any gardening tips, you can always comment them down below and I will see you very soon. Thank you.